to better understand why it's so important to select strong passwords, uh, we uh, need to have a look uh, to some of the attacks against passwords. The attackers, the cyber criminals, can overcome password based authentication using a large number of different methods. For example, guessing passwords or cracking passwords. Cracking passwords is a systematic attempt, for example, with a word list uh, or rainbow tables. Interception passwords, uh, sniffing, uh, is that means to uh, sniff all the network packets. Uh, and scan them whether there is username or password uh, transmitted. The use of malware uh, can help the attackers to get access to password, uh, already mentioned keyloggers or Trojans that are record user input in the moment when a user types in a password, uh, uh, the password. Social engineering methods are possible. So there is a wide range and we want to have a closer look to all these different methods. Let's start with password guessing. Passwords are guessed online and uh, used to try to access a service on the internet. So the attacker tries to find out the password of a user uh, in order uh, to uh, misuse his account for his own purpose. For example, do some online shopping or uh, buying something or uh, download a video or other things. The guessing of the user password combination is surprisingly uh, successful. Surprisingly often successful because the user use weak passwords. And uh, we spoke about uh, weak passwords. So uh, the user uses weak password to have it more convenient, to remember it, uh, to get fast, in a fast way, access to the service. But on the other side, they lower the security of their uh, account. So uh, the reason to choose simple password often is uh, that's easy to remember. But uh, then, if it's easy to remember, then it becomes also easy to guess for the cyber criminal. For example, discovering a valid username. A guest, guest password can only be abused if the associate username is also discovered. But usernames are typically easy to find. Uh, try, for example, frequently occurring users. Uh, for example, admin, guest services. These are uh, accounts, uh, usernames that are in many default settings available. Using names from other services, for example from leaked database, or generate usernames according to familiar patterns, for example first name or second name or a name combined with, with some digits or others. Then first or last name with attached numbers here, for example, John64, Robot17 or others. And then uh, many services, in many services, the email address uh, is used as the username. Now, uh, uh, the problem is uh, to discover a valid password. And uh, to make passwords easier to remember, Many users choose simple structures password. For example, shows, uh, studies show that about 10% of all users choose their first name as a password. Users also use unchanged default settings of user password combinations uh, with which the systems are delivered, uh, which are in a default setting available and can be found in the manual, in the description of the service. Uh, for example, uh, private uh, uh, Wi-Fi routers. For example, test test or guest guest or admin admin are such uh, default combinations that can be uh, misused and that can be guessed by attackers. Hackers can also easily check through lists of common uh, combinations uh, to find the password. So, Studies show uh, about the security of passwords that 20 to 30 percent, 20 to 40 percent of all the passwords in the database can easily be guessed. So the first 
for attacking a web service, it's enough to find the first valid user password combination. Typically, the attackers do not want to attack you. In some cases, uh, this is true, but in many cases, they only want to misuse the service. So it's enough for them to find the first valid user password combination, uh, which allows them uh, to uh, misuse the service. And studies show that this is possible within 15 minutes. So everyone uh, should be uh, is responsible for select stronger password. So the current password crackers can test 1,500 1, user password combination per minute on a website. So with this password guessing, one can make a lot of tries in a relative short uh, time period. The success of such uh, password guessing attacks, the quick guessing, is possible because many passwords are weak. Many passwords are too weak or simple. Uh, although there are warnings to the users, select strong password. Here you see with a strong password the, pa is the best uh, protection measure against uh, password guessing. There are more methods to attack passwords. And a very successful method is the password cracking. So called password cracking is uh, executed offline on a list of hashed passwords. So typically this is done with a leaked uh, user database of the service. And the idea is to uh, derive the passwords in plain text from the distinguished uh, hash values. If the attacker uh, um, steal a database, then, if it's done in a correct way, the passwords are in a hashed form uh, in the database. So what the attacker need to be do, they want to find out from the hashed value the, uh, the plain text uh, value of the password. But I mentioned if it's a strong hash function, this is a one-way function. So it is not easy to uh, find the original password by mathematical, uh, by mathematical uh, uh, methods. So uh, here the idea of this password cracking is to compute from a list of passwords hash values and then to compare the hash values from the database with the computed hash values and if they agree then the password is cracked. Often this mechanical uh, password cracking is much faster than a guessing password. So it's a real, uh, it's a real dangerous method. Requirements are that the attacker get access to a user file uh, with password hashes. And I mentioned many of these leaks are freely published in the internet. So it's possible, it's easily possible for the attackers to get access to such a user database with hashed values, for example, from leaked databases. But also if attackers are uh, successful in cracking a computer, they can get access um, to such data. The cracking is performed either with the help of dictionaries or, with, uh, or by a brute force. Let's start to have a closer look on dictionary attacks. Dictionaries that are lists of words, lists of strings, lists of dictionary entries. And what the cracking program is doing, it takes all these uh, this words and hashes the word, one after the other. And then the resulting hashes are compared with existing passwords hashes from the user database. You remember when we discussed about uh, weak password, we said all words that can be found in a dictionary need to be considered as a weak password because they can be easily attacked by this, uh, by this uh, dictionary attack. The other uh, uh, way to attack password uh, uh, to attack password are Bruce Ford attacks. Bruce Force is uh, possible 
for such a brute force attack is possible for every password. So there are no security measures against. So what the only chance to be is to make the password so strong that such a brute force attack needs <coughs> too much time. For example, it needs centuries uh, to, uh, to come to the result. So brute force is a brute force attack is to check all character combinations and test whether this is uh, the password or not. And here you see that it's very important to create passwords from many different types of characters to make this brute force attack difficult. Brute force attacks are definitely successful and find the password in any case. But if the password is long enough and if the password is strongly created, then it will take much too long. So you have to think on decades or centuries. So let's have a closer look to the password cracking programs. Uh, by means of the <coughs> more and more powerful computers, <coughs> such uh, <coughs> cracking programs become uh, very fast because it is what they have to do, they have to take word by word and to a hash uh, to compute the hash function to find out if the hash can be found in the user database. And uh, the processors become more powerful, uh, but in particular for this password cracking, the graphics processors uh, are very helpful. Graphic processors, which are another type of processor in modern computer that's needed in the context of a graphic uh, display and, and, and computation. So the guessing is always dependent from sufficient network bandwidth and prone uh, with disturbance of delays. If we look to the historic development of this cracking attack, then we can state that 40 years ago, 40 years ago, three passwords could be tested in one second with this machine with the DAC BDP 11. So the state of the art long time ago, 40 years ago, was that to check, to crack a password, three passwords, uh, from three passwords in a second, the hash value could be computed and to check against the hash value in the leaked database. Today, uh, uh, per second, not on a special computer, on a, car on a typical current computer, almost a billion passwords can be tested. From almost a billion uh, passwords the, uh, with uh, SGA1, uh, the hash value can be computed and can be checked against the hash values in the leaked database. So uh, you see all words that can be found in such word lists, in such dictionaries, can be in a very short time tested uh, to find out uh, whether the a clear text password uh, in the back uh, is uh, to reveal the clear text password in the back. Password cracking is, spent, uh, is strongly dependent on the hardware that's used. So processor, uh, graphic processors are very helpful. Uh, These password cracking programs uh, the GPUs are extremely uh, GPUs uh, are extremely efficient in cracking passwords uh, because they are optimized for parallel mathematical calculations and this computation of the hash value uh, is such a uh, mathematical calculation. In some cases, these uh, GPUs, these graphical processor uh, uh, processors units, are thousandfold faster than uh, the usual uh, processors. Uh, here, uh, some uh, some numbers to get a feeling uh, for such uh, what, what what time is needed. For example, for a brute, brute force cracking at a uh, uh, hundred billion tests uh, with special hardware, what can be tested within a second uh, when 
100 billion tests can be performed within a second, then here you see different types of passwords. So for a secret, the word secret, uh, if this is a password, it can be cracked uh, in less than one second. If uh, one uh, uh, adds some uh, digits, for example, secret 12, then uh, 29 seconds are needed to find out this word, because this word has two, four, six, eight digit, so and with pending addition, uh, the uh, factor, uh, the, the, the time that's needed to crack is the factor by all the characters that are available. Here a more complicated uh, form of secret with uh, small capital letters with some special, uh, special characters need five minutes uh, to be cracked, uh, here one hour uh, and uh, 45 hours, and here this password you see formed from the square needs already 19 years to be cracked. The length is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 uh, characters. So you remember that we recommended that passwords have at least consist of a secure password can have to consist at least of uh, 10 characters. There are several tools available in the internet for uh, cracking passwords. There are two famous, uh, one famous uh, is the John the Ripper, uh, another is Hashcat. These are programs which are optimized for such uh, password cracking attacks. The support uh, cracking of all popular passwords, hashing methods, uh, for example, you can uh, compute by means of this program MD5 hash, you can uh, SHA1 hash, you can be uh, bcrypt uh, hash. Uh, there is another a tool, the rainbow crack. Uh, rainbow crack that supports efficient cracking using pre-computed rainbow tables, rainbow tables would make it more efficient uh, to, uh, to um, uh, crack passwords. Then uh, this program LO, PhD crack, Love crack is known for efficient uh, cracking, in particular for Windows passwords. You see attacker can use tools that are available in the internet to perform in an automated way, such a password cracking to find, to reveal passwords out from the hash. I mentioned this rainbow-based tool. Uh, indeed, the rainbow tables is a data structure, uh, uh, is a special kind of compressed lookup tables that uh, make it e more easy to uh, find out and more efficient to find out uh, plain text passwords. And the idea is to form uh, skillfully chains of hashes. So that's not necessary to compute for each word each, uh, uh, a hash uh, when one looks back to find the password that corresponds to hash. There is, uh, this table is pre-calculated <coughs> that before the cracking attacks is done, such rainbow tables are uh, computed and they allow to retrieve the plain text password for a given hash in a short uh, time. The difference to a usual dictionary is the following. The dictionary stores only lists of plain text passwords, all of which will be hashed and compared with the target uh, hash. hash. In a rainbow table, this is a large table that stores passwords with upper weight hashes in a chain. And then uh, the rainbow table is pre-computed uh, pre and prepared for this attack. And so a cracking becomes a breaking of a single password using such a rainbow table is much more faster than using a dictionary. But beware, good passwords are useless when eavesdropping programs can listen to every keystroke, when there are other ways that a hacker can get access uh, to your password. So recommendation, test your own password. Test your own password with these tools uh, I mentioned. Again, freely available word lists. Here are some examples. 
and get an impression how fast it is to reveal your password and then uh, you have the chance uh, simply by following our hints to design more stronger password. At the beginning I mentioned there are many different attack methods. We already discussed password cracking, password, pass, password guessing, password cracking. Now let's uh, uh, look to password sniffing, a method that works completely different. This method uh, uh, to attack uh, username password combinations is to try to get access to such combinations in the moment when the data are transported over the internet. So, eavesdropping when data are sent from the user to the sender. And the idea of the sniffing is simply to listen and analyze each network packets in a local uh, network or in a wireless network. There are tools available, also free tools, which originally were designed to give the administrator, the net network administrator, the chance uh, to find out failures with the package. But uh, Wireshark is a famous tool or uh, TCP dump. Uh, and the basic idea simply is to misuse that the attackers, the attacker misuse these uh, tools uh, and try to get to, to observe all the data packages that are sent through the easy to the internet, to analyze them and to filter out keywords like login or password, and then to uh, see what the user what, what, what's uh, appended in the uh, network package on this user, because the, uh, the 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 passwords are sent in clear text to the service. Spying out this is a way the uh, the uh, sniffing is of, of course a way to spy out networks, but there are more ways. Sniffing was to uh, see the to find out the password when it's sent through the internet. With this uh, malware, for example, with special programs like keyloggers, the attackers uh, try to get access to the passwords on the computer of the user by means of this malware, this malware which simply uh, sends all the strokes, all the key uh, 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 strokes to the, uh, to the attacker. And as soon as login or password or such phrases are, are uh, sent, then and all what the user is doing and, and, and uh, putting in uh, via this keyboard to the system is recorded and is sent to the attacker. So the attacker is, is stored on the computer of the user when the attacker before has uh, found a way a backdoor to get access to that computer or it's sent by email to the, uh, to the attacker. In this way, the attacker can get access to passwords uh, of users. Uh, let's finish this, uh, this uh, short view about the attack methods uh, by mentioning some very popular uh, pa password violation incidents in the past. So, for example, in September 2014, 1.2 billion stolen identity data were released by Russian hackers. 1-2 billion stolen identities in one moment. The company Namecheap reported that there were a lot of login attempts with this data, so the data are not only stolen and published, but there are people that also tried to misuse the data. Presumably, attackers successfully passed the password guessing attack on email addresses of celebrities in the iCloud, and so they were able to get access to private uh, pictures and you remember some of the celebrities uh, had uh, stored and uh, uh, enact packages there and so it was a big, uh, uh, big discussion in the media about this and it shows that it's very dangerous if, the, uh, if it's possible to steal such uh, identity data. 
The incident was uh, in the public known under the name uh, Celebgate and uh, or the Fappening. Another uh, major passport violation incident uh, to mention here was from 2016. So the stolen user database of the MySpace service uh, was sold on uh, the dark web, leaked user password uh, name combinations of users lead to many account takeovers uh, on other services such as Twitter. So here you see that if the attackers can get exact access to a username password combination then it's very likely that password allows them also to get access to data and to services that are not leaked. So uh, the problem here is the password reuse. We discussed this already and it should be avoided. It should be definitely avoided. The hacker group Our Mine uh, took over various celebrity accounts, for example, from Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Katy Perry and David uh, Guetta. And uh, so this, shown, this shows that it is a real security attack if the attacker, and for the attacker, uh, very interesting to attack such password uh, databases uh, from internet services. And with the method I described in this clip, it's possible to reveal even uh, secured and hashed passwords.